treatment of malaria malaria is treated with different anti malarial drug on the basis of susceptibility of plasmodium species treatment of uncomplicated palsy param malaria treatment of uncomplicated palsy param malaria the drug of choice artemisinin best combination therapy orally for 3 days the treatment of uncomplicated falciparum malaria is artemisinin in combination therapy orally for 3 days is the first line treatment is the first line treatment second line treatment for uncomplicated falciparum malaria quinine plus doxycycline for 7 days is the second line treatment artemisinin combination therapy recommended by who or artemisinin plus lomipentrin artisunet plus amodiaquin artisunet plus meploquin dihydro artemisinin plus piperaquin these are the common artemisinin and it is derivative recommended by who for the treatment of malaria the first line treatment is artemisinin most commonly used is the artemisinin plus lomipentrin for 3 days while second line treatment in case of unavailability or oral intolerability of act then we can use the second line treatment is quinine plus doxycycline 
क्विनिन 600 मिलीग्राम एट आवरली पर सेवन डेज विथ डुक्सी साइक्लिन हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम बी डी ट्वाइस अ डे फॉर सेवन डेज बट इन केस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी डुक्सी साइक्लिन इज कंट्रा इंडिकेटेड वी कैन यूज कलेंडा माइसी इन केस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी we can use clindamycin because doxycycline is contraindicated in pregnancy due to adverse effect on the fetus bone and teeth clindamycin is given 10 to 20 mg per kg three times a day three times a day and commonly it is given 600 mg bd per 7 days treatment of severe falciparum malaria now we are going to discuss treatment of severe falciparum malaria severe means complicated malaria severe malaria is defined as symptomatic malaria with evidence of vital organ dysfunction with evidence of complication such as एम्फियर्ट कॉन्शियसनेस इफ द पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विथ ज्वाइंट एस दीज आर द कंप्लीकेशन ऑफ मलेरिया सीवियर एनेमिया एफ एच बी less than 5 g per deciliter a patient presented in shock systolic bp less than 90 mmhg a patient presented with एसिडोटिक ब्रीथिंग सीरम बाय कार्बोनेट लेस देन फिफ्टीन मिली मोल पर लीटर ए पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड आई पेरासाइटीमिया ग्रेटर देन फाइव परसेंट infected erythrocyte rbc r 250000 parasite per microliter if the patient presented with these complication with these vital organ dysfunction we are going to label as severe or complicated malaria a patient presented with hypoglycemia blood sugar less than 40 mg per deciliter may be patient presented with impaired renal status crate 
सीरम क्रेटिनीन ग्रेटर देन थ्री मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर इफ द पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विद ए स्पोन्टेनियस ब्लीडिंग ड्यू टू लो प्लेटलेट इफ द पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विद नॉन कार्डियोजेनिक पलमोनरी ओडिमा इफ द पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विद वन or more than one of these complication we are going to label as severe falciparum malaria the treatment for severe falciparum malaria is far enteral iv artisanate is parenteral artisanate given as 2.4 mg per kg on admission zero time and subsequent dose at 12 hour 24 hours and then one sade od after one per 7 days if artisunet is started is must be continue per minimum 24 hour irrespective of oral tolerability or improvement of the patient and you are going to see that your patient is improving then switch highway artisunate to oral artemisinin and combination therapy par 3 days the second line treatment for severe falciparum malaria is parenteral quinine given is 20 mg per kg as a loading dose and 10 mg per kg as a maintenance dose 8 hourly in 5% dextrose for 7 days with combination of doxycycline 200 mg once a day or 100 mg twice a day the infusion rate should not be exceed 5 mg per kg per hour to minimize the side effect of parenteral quinine high of it is clear the first line of treatment for severe falciparum malaria is parenteral artisunate if artisunate is started it must be continued minimum 24 hours irrespective of oral tolerability or improvement of the patient after 24 hour you observe that your patient is improving then switch to the oral act and continue it for further 3 days in case of unavailability of artisunate we can use the second line treatment 
Second line treatment is for enteral queening. In the infusion part, loading dose is 20 mg per kg and maintenance dose is 10 mg per kg at hourly for 7 days. Along with doxycycline, in combination with doxycycline, 200 mg once a day or 100 mg twice a day per 7 days. In case of pregnancy, this doxycycline is replaced by clindamycin because doxycycline is contraindicated in pregnancy. So in place of doxycycline, we can use clindamycin.